This provocative sign is making waves at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. We're engaging and educating whether you're on the floor here or in the restroom. It greets visitors inside the aquarium's all-gender bathroom. General Manager Tammy Brown tells me the restroom was repurposed last summer in preparation for the 2014 Gay Games. And it goes back to making sure that every guest, every person who walks in through our doors feels comfortable and has a place if they need to use a restroom, that they're comfortable. Brown acknowledged to me that perhaps not all people feel comfortable. I spoke with a female visitor who said she walked in on a man using a urinal. But Brown told me that shouldn't happen. There is a lock on the door, and the sign actually says, please lock the door for privacy. So we hope that people do follow that. I also spoke with Jacob Nash, who was born a woman, but tells me he has always identified as a man. He said all gender bathrooms like this one point out the need for education. So that individuals know that, okay, if you're at a urinal, that there could be an opportunity for someone to walk in, you know, um, on you while you are going to the restroom. Um, and so that's why the lock the door is important. Nash is pushing for a long awaited vote in city council on the transgender non discrimination ordinance. But he tells me all gender restrooms like these are a step in the right direction. And this sign is part of the education. If that starts the conversation, great, let's continue to have these conversations. Now, Case Western University is another player in the all gender bathroom trend here in Cleveland. I'm told they have 14 buildings on campus that house an all gender bathroom option. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.